Welcome to our final First Kids Easter experience. It's been such a fun ride. Even though we're physically separated, we can be spiritually connected in Jesus. If you missed any of our previous experiences, go back and watch them. Hey, we celebrate the holiday Easter once a year. We celebrate Easter every day as we follow Christ. BPQ, the big picture question. Who saves us from our sin? Only Jesus saves us from our sin. We've been hitting the big picture question for over a week. It's a simple truth, but it's the difference between a relationship with Jesus that means eternity in heaven and every other system, every other religion in the world that will not save you. And, and it's the way a lot of good church people think. There's a lot of people who think, well, if I go to church, if I promise to be good, then I'll be saved. But only Jesus can save us from our sin. The key passage. Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. In our previous Easter experiences, we looked at Palm Sunday, we looked at the Last Supper, we looked at the cross, Good Friday. We celebrated that Jesus is alive and we walked down the road of Emmaus with Jesus. In our last Bible story of this series, we're gonna look at a time where Jesus appeared to his disciples while they were all gathered in a house. Does that sound familiar? Have you been gathered up in a house with your family? Now, the reason we're doing that right now is not because we're scared, but because we're being smart in the same way you wear a seat belt. But the disciples, they were gathered in a house because they were scared. And we're going to look at how Jesus responded to them and their fear. On the first day of the week, in the evening, the disciples gathered together in a house. They locked the doors because they were afraid of the Jews. They didn't want to be killed like Jesus had been killed. But wait! Jesus had appeared to two disciples on the road, and Mary Magdalene had reported seeing him alive too. Could it be true? As the disciples talked, Jesus came, stood among them, and said to them, Peace to you. The disciples were afraid. They couldn't believe their eyes. Was this really Jesus? The disciples thought they were seeing a ghost. Why are you afraid? It's me. Why do you doubt? Jesus said, Look at me and touch me. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, but I do. I'm not a ghost. Jesus showed his disciples his hands and his side. They saw the holes in his hands and in his side. Jesus was alive. It seemed too good to be true. The disciples rejoiced because they were so happy to see Jesus. The disciples gave Jesus some fish to eat. Jesus talked to them and explained the Bible to them. The Bible is about me, Jesus said. He helped them understand how the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms told about him. Then Jesus told the disciples that they had a job to do. Jesus had died and was raised from the dead so that people could be forgiven for their sins. 
The disciples needed to tell other people to repent from their sin and be forgiven. Peace to you, Jesus said to them again. God sent me to earth, and in the same way, I am sending you. Jesus sent out the disciples to be his witnesses and to tell all the people that he is alive. For 40 days, Jesus presented himself to at least 500 people and proved that he is alive. Jesus is still alive today. He sends out believers to tell others about him and gives us power through the Holy Spirit. Jesus sure was busy after he rose from the dead. First, he appeared to the women at the tomb. Then he appeared to his disciples. Jesus appeared to over 500 people as proof that God had raised him from the dead. Can you imagine how frightened the disciples must have been when Jesus appeared to them? They were in a locked room. The disciples were frightened. Jesus had been put to death. They didn't want to be put to death. They were scared. But do you know what Jesus told them? He said, peace. Jesus came to bring them peace. Peace is the opposite of fear. And that's what Jesus wants to give you and me. But again, Jesus took the scripture and he showed them how the whole Bible pointed to him. Jesus also told his disciples to go and tell other people about him. And you know what? They did. And they told people who told people who told people who told people who told people. And 2,000 years later, somebody told somebody who told me. And now I get to tell you. Jesus rose from the dead. And if you accept that, if you accept him as your king, as your solution to your sin problem, it's his instruction to you. Happy Easter.